here again, we need to manage this particular box and set it up. Uh, so from the web browser, access 40 NAC, I'm already in 40 NAC. In this case, users and hosts. In this case, guests and contractors. In the top right hand corner, uh, we have uh, users and templates. We want to go to templates and add in a new uh, template. In the required field window, put in all of these uh, entries. We're going to have guest users. We'll copy that, of course, paste it in there, guest users. Uh, the visitor type is a self-registered guest and the role is going to be we select that particular role at guest self-registration which is there password length uh, at this particular point password length is five and account duration is going to be eight hours so eight hours there I like that and that's everything we need to set up uh, in that field we need to move to data fields uh, first name and last name required, 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 and uh, email required, so that's required there. But all of these um, can be set to uh, ignore as identified by this uh, screen. So here, ignore, 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 ignore. Uh, person visiting is also going to be required. Phone, ignore, ignore, ignore ignore person visiting and ignore on the reason I'm going too far there yeah so one two three four fields one two three four fields set in all of the rest to ignore and we can click on uh, OK there to be able to set up that and that's great uh, and now we need to move to the portal and the portal configuration so portal and portal configuration and if we open up that field portal configuration come on once the database loads we can expand on the registration tab and click on the self registration login which is here uh, underneath this page uh, set the required sponsor approval so we need to find required sponsor approval which is down there and we can set that to none under the required sponsor approval. Scroll down to default guest template. Uh, so self registration, when you scroll down to default guest template, which is there, and select the guest users template from the drop down list. Oh, too fast, too fast. And we can now scroll right away down to the bottom we can now click on apply we've not done anything that's great so apply that as part of the self-registration login move this to the top of the screen policy and objects user host profiles policy and objects user host profiles uh, we need to create new and in this case the name is going to be self-registered guest users and that I'll copy that We'll paste that in there like that. Self-registered guest users. For who, what, toggle it to on. Who, what, toggle that one to on. And under the attributes, uh, click that plus. And where, and in this case, it used to be host. On the drop-down list. From the second under policy access, uh, choose role. Under policy access, choose role. And then third can do choose guest self-registration. So here, this would be guest self-registration. Continue from who, what attributes to configure another attribute. Click plus at the bottom. So that's plus, add that in. And it is going to be where user. So that's where user. In the second drop down tab, choose role. And in this case, uh, policy access role. And then third drop down again, guest self registration, guest self registration. So we've got a host role or where um, user role, guest self registration, either of those two. Um, at that point, for where, uh, we'll scroll this down so that I get to that point. Uh, for where, toggle on and choose locations any of. So where, toggle that on, locations uh, any of. Locations, uh, any of, 
and that should be able to put on okay any of the locations can be put into place that's great setting up that guest template and applying it properly so now a guest endpoint compliance policy so policy and objects policy and objects endpoint compliance endpoint compliance we'll create a new policy uh, here and it's going to be called uh, guests ECP so control C on that and guests ECP there it is uh, for configuration from the drop down tab click uh, from the drop down tab click on create and new box pops up yes yeah, so we'll just type ECC there like that we'll do um, from the scan drop down tab click on the pencil beside the OS antivirus check so the pencil beside the OS antivirus check now which is there highlighted in the screen and oh, what does it want us to set click on the Windows tab make sure category is set to antivirus so on Windows make sure the category is set to antivirus and beside uh, it's Windows antivirus and beside validate make sure any is set from the drop-down box so yes validate any uh, of these we can click the plus tab at the bottom of the list so right there down at the bottom of the list we can add in uh, another one in this particular case and click all and close so we're adding in them all that's great uh, under the operating system uh, we want to click the X icon to delete these operating systems Windows 7 uh, that one needs to be deleted that one needs to be deleted like that click on OK and click and choose the OS antivirus don't we need to choose that at that particular point under the operating system agent treatment make sure Windows is set to latest dissolvable agent yep windows latest dissolvable agent at that point uh, and we can click on okay beside the configuration choose the ecc so choose it now that we set it up and let's scroll that down for user host profile um, choose that self-registered guest users uh, like that and we can now click on OK to apply it. Under Policy and Objects, click Network Access and Create New. So with Policy and Objects, Network Access, and Create a New Set Rules for that. Uh, the name is going to be Restricted Guest Access, Control C and Control V for Restricted Guest Access. From configuration, we'll create a new one. It's going to be called Guest Network. Uh, logical Network inside here, we can create a new one and enter the name as Guest. So just to put in there Guest. I don't need to copy and paste, do I really? Control V, Guest, just on its own like that. Click on OK to set that one. Besides the logical network, choose the guest and click on OK. Besides configuration, choose the guest network. And from the user host profile, choose those self registered guest users. That's as we set those up. And we can go on and click on OK. That's great. That looks good. Set it all up continue so now we need to go and access a different device reviewing the 40 switch VLANs configuration how it is set up with its uh, particular VLANs so at, at this point um, we need to go back to the lab activity tab which is over here on the left at the top lab activity go back to a different device in this case it is the internal segmentation firewall that we want to access the internal segmentation firewall HTTPS 
a standard password with admin uh, I've got it saved with a 14 one exclamation mark password uh, in my browser and we start to manage this 40 gate internal segment set up as an internal segmentation firewall using the version 7.2 that really doesn't matter um, 7.4 of course is out now uh, here we've accessed that I get to the Wi-Fi and switch controller and click on the 40 switch VLANs so in this case the 40 switch VLANs which is that one <clears throat> and it's set up as a managed switch via these and we can see uh, the registration and guest VLANs have, have uh, been configured uh, so click on registration and edit and this is the registration uh, particular VLAN uh, it is your zero trust VLAN any device that connects to this is going to be uh, in a VLAN with a tag of 198 there's a tag of 198 and this configuration of this particular network is such that it is only connected it's not connected to anything else if we scroll down to the DHCP uh, server entries make sure that it is set for the 40 NAX layer 3 address 192.168.200.10 like that uh, with the uh, really regular type just regular DHCP server switched on yeah, it's uh, set to re this is set to relay all DHCP requests to that DHCP server uh, at that particular point. Yeah, it's all, it's all set already. Just click on OK, I don't need to change anything. Uh, again, from the web browser, access the 40 NAC using the web console. Uh, click on Network Inventory. So again, we can go back to the 40 NAC, which is already open up inside here. And we can go Network Inventory, Network Inventory and we can expand the security devices container like that. Click on the uh, internal segmentation firewall and we can look at the virtualized devices inside there. And um, of course has a VDOM called root inside there, which is a virtual router inside the configuration of that particular box. And we can do the model configuration of that particular uh, env environment. Um, here under the logical network configuration we need to create a new one in this case create new and the logical network is going to be called get uh, is going to be the guest network choose it from the drop down list uh, the, the vlan id is going to be uh, the number 195 which is already there any guest device that successfully registers is moved over into that uh, 195 out of the registration system and we should click on OK. Uh, under the logical network configuration again click on the registration and in this particular case we'll do that registration uh, registration uh, edit that configuration under that registration click on it like that and we'll edit it. Network access is going to be in force and the VLAN ID is going to be 198 like that. Any device that connects to that is going to be yeah, set up there. Click on OK. Click on OK. Under system groups, under system groups, the main system tab and not the one for the internal segmentation firewall. Locate and identify the forced registration group the forced registration group which is that one click on modify once you've selected it uh, modify that forced registration expand the security devices which is there uh, locate the internal segmentation firewall and click the check marks the check mark beside it to select all of its ports click the arrow to move it over these are all the ports that are going to be at moved over from the um, members to selected members uh, system. So we're going to move all of the ports of that internal segmentation firewall uh, over inside there, uh, connecting them into that participation on the uh, Fortinac. In systems groups, locate and select role based access. So under here, we need role based access alphabetically sorted. Again, click on modify on that section. Again here, modify this role-based access. Uh, 
go to that internal segmentation firewall under the security devices, internal segmentation firewall, and move all of the ports over into that uh, environment like that. So here, the internal segmentation firewall, all the ports get moved over, and we can now click on OK to get that in place. OK, continue. Um, so from the lab activity, access Bob's machine using RDP. So back to lab activity, and there is, if we go back again inside here, there is a Bob machine called Bob. We can access that Bob machine uh, using RDP. And this is inside the browser. So we'll access this machine, Bob Butcher. is a Windows machine. Um, we don't need the username and password, it's already logged in. Now we have control of Bob's machine. We right click and we can open the network and sharing center at that point. So here, click on the guest section and it's properties uh, under IP version 4, the internet protocol version 4. Uh, here under its properties, we, we want to obtain an IP version 4 address automatically and obtain a DNS server automatically. Uh, here, close the browser in case you automatic so uh, doing OK and click close on those particular settings. Yeah, it's describing exactly where we go. Obtain, obtain, OK, OK, close at that particular point. Um, so here it will open up uh, we do not allow that to be discoverable on the new network. It is receiving and delivering packets, as we can see on that particular environment. And we should get an IP address from those environments. So close that, close that, uh, close that, and run up a command prompt to see what IP address we get. Uh, IP config. And if we get that IP config just uh, pushing out here, we should get inside this environment a 172.16.198.100 address with that one IP address, 172.16.198.1. Uh, okay, that's great. It's got an IP address and set up. Uh, we can now open up the Chrome browser to try and access the internet. Uh, if we try and access CNN directly, uh, here, yeah, ignore the certificate warning. Uh, so we can go uh, advanced and proceed to CNN, which is unsafe. This is, of course, because the uh, Fortinac is inter intercepting this environment. So, yes, proceed to Fortinac and redirecting us to that system because it is a self signed certificate. And we get this uh, portal coming up asking for a login process. Again, we go for self-registration. Uh, first name is Bob, second name is Smith. Uh, email is Bob at IT. And the person visiting is Alice. That's the person I'm visiting. And I will request access uh, for that uh, machine. Here. Uh, a random password is generated to provide guest access to the machine. Um, I will log in using that information. Again, it's going to send down uh, the dissolvable agent. Allow the download by saying keep the file and it comes on down 2.9 meg. And we can now click on continue uh, to move on. Uh, we need to click and open that dissolvable agent. So we'll click on that and open it. We'll execute it. We want it to be able to make the changes uh, correctly. So again, if it's unable to find this, we need this particular IP address to be able to go and get that configuration. <coughs> Let's just take that out. Next. Do you want to connect? Yes. 
It's just purely because of the limitations in the lab. And we can register those credentials. Scans to make sure everything's okay. Uh, the dissolvable agent is finished. It's done its scan. It's done its check. It's done its load. Uh, we, we registered. We finished. Let's try this logging in there. It should be okay. It does take a couple of retries, a couple of minutes, but um, to get the correct IP address to do all of its correct work. Uh, but now, as you can see, Bob has access to the internet, and just by waiting for that process to uh, kick into place, you'll be able to access the internet now because this box uh, has been registered and Bob has actually logged in. If we go back to the 40 NAC, which is over here, it's timed out, so we'll log in again and uh, we need to click on users and hosts and identify the hosts associated with here in the quick search bar let's put in uh, 172.16.195.100 uh, like that and we have got bob at it registered with this particular machine this windows machine let's pick that particular up that uh, section up we can uh, right right click on this section and identify the policy details associated with this uh, machine. It's a self-registered guest user, and um, he's in VLAN 195 because he's done that uh, environment. He's been put into that particular place, so he's verified his access at that particular point.